ladies and gentlemen, for the February release, VS Code will be your Valentine. And what do you get as gifts? Well, it's not flowers. It's not chocolates. It's not even a card. <gasps> How dare they? They're going to do you one better. They're going to get you some sweet, sweet new features. Let's go check them out. Guess what? If you find a new theme you like, you can now apply it to VS Code right after installing it. Once you install the theme, you'll be prompted to switch to it from your current theme. This means you no longer have to go through the cycle of installing and applying new themes separately. Customization is key to making VS Code look and feel how you like. The Debug Console received an update that allows you to customize the font used within it. Switch over to Settings, search for Debug Font, and configure the options for font size, family, and line height to your preferred values. VS Code makes building HTML documents easier with features like IntelliSense. This has been enhanced with descriptions for ARIA attributes and DOM events to help you determine the right option to use as you code. It's available to you thanks to the data provided by W3C and Mozilla Developer Network. Hover and Peak Views received many improvements in this update. One in particular is the ability to activate quick fix options directly from the hover view in your code. You can also access the problems view via the peak problem option that has been made available. All of this is provided in an effort to help you more efficiently fix up your code. Well, that does it for this month's release of Visual Studio Code. I hope you enjoyed it and found it to be pretty sweet. If you did, please be sure to share and like it. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.